a quick runoff of UFC 255. I got some of your picks earlier. Okay. Let's see. Let's go to UFC.com. As always, if Menace does not know your name on the undercard, I apologize, but we're not going to. Hey, just do the main card, no? I'm just, do, I, do I know anybody on wait, the Wait, I'm, I'm just giving that disclaimer. Absolutely right. not. You don't know any. You you know Alan Joban. That's it. Yep. And he's on the early prelims for some reason. I don't know why. And then, you know, so we'll do this fight. Ariane Lipsky versus Antonia Shevchenko. Oh, Valentina's so, sister? Valentina's sister. She's number 15 in the rankings versus Ariana Lipsky. Ariana Lipsky is one of like the, don't crucify me, but one of like seven hot girls on the UFC roster. I'm going to go with. And now here, I'm not throwing shade. There's hot. There's attractive. Then there's ugly. Ugly might be here. There's some levels in there, but there's hot, attractive, ugly. So there's levels in there. Hot, attractive, you would do her, ugly. Well, hot, attractive, I'm fucking her, <laughs> ugly. I wouldn't touch her. <laughs> you, you wouldn't touch her might be in here sometimes because you're picky. But you wouldn't touch her down here. But... Ariana Lipsky is up here or up here. Ariana Lipsky can look good. Antonia Shevchenko could even look good if she's done upright. I'm going to uh, Shevchenko. I'm going to go Lipsky. Okay. Ariane Lipsky over Antonia Shevchenko. Shevchenko's first fight since getting her shit pushed in by Caitlin. Caitlin, yes. And then Joaquin Buckley is fighting Jordan Wright. Jordan Wright's undefeated. Joaquin Buckley's the guy who landed that spinning back kick. Mm. So he quick turned around. They're throwing him right wow, back in. that's very quick. But the kid he's fighting is undefeated. So tough. It's not – I, I don't think he's fought in the UFC yet. Yeah, he's undefeated outside the UFC. Let me double check. But I'm pretty sure, yes, he hasn't fought in the UFC yet. All right, I'm going spinning back kick guy. Spinning back kick what guy. What's his name? Uh, Joaquin Buckley. Joaquin. So here's the thing too with this dude. So we're going to – I want to get – um, excuse me. What's his name? James Krause on because James Krause did an interview and he was like, yo, this guy Buckley's a piece of shit. Not even like no sugarcoat was like Buckley's a piece of shit. Like, like, like he's known in uh, our – Piece like, of shit fighter or of a person? Person. Like, he's known in our area as a piece of shit. And then went into it like he comes into our gym. He constantly calls out, like, little guys. Even me, James Krause, is a lightweight welterweight. 70. No, he's a 55er who fights at welterweight. And then he said that Buckley's always calling him out for fights at 85. And then he's done it numerous times. He just had didn't have nice things to say about Buckley. And said Real that, quick, when you're on your Instagram, how do you see like what people liked of your stuff or reacted your like your notifications? Um, what do you mean? It changed. It changed. Yeah. It should be the heart. No. There is no heart. I didn't update. I don't know. Maybe there is no heart because I reached out to that JP and his wife that uh, just got contracts with the UFC through the uh, contender series. Yeah, and look and see if they got back to me at all. I don't know. You might. Did you, did you update? I I don't know. I pressed where I should have been. Anyway, sorry. So, Get back so to the thing. Jaquan, Jaquin Buckley, Jordan Wright. Yes. No, no, no. Jordan's already 1-0 in the UFC. And he's undefeated. 11-0. He's from Jackson Wink. I'm going to go with this dude over Buckley. I'll, I'll hop on that bandwagon. I'll go with you. Hop on. And then Brandon Royval versus Brandon Moreno. Brandon who? Exactly. Flyweight fight. 125. So, A. Brandon is going to win this fight. <laughs> Nice, Dan. I'm going to go Brandon Royville. 
Same. Brandon Moreno is probably is the favorite, and Brandon Moreno. I go Moreno. Moreno is the one who I believe trains with Cejudo. Okay, I like that. All right, main card. This is what people care about: Shogun Paul Craig rematch. First fight was a draw. I'm gonna go Craig because is he younger? He's younger. Absolutely, Shogun's got to be old as shit right now. Paul Craig. Yeah, Shogun's like 36 somehow. I don't get it. He's been fighting since I was in high school. Paul Craig. He started when he was young. When he won the Grand Prix, I think he was 21. He is the John Jones of Pride, but he's lost more fights. Yes. Um, he's 38 now. So Paul Craig's 32. Fuck. Go Paul Craig. Shogun has quietly won two fights in a row, though. So he beat, he lost to Anthony Smith. And even past that, he's won five of his last six. Damn. I'm going to go Shogun to get the win and close out his career. Even though every time I watch Shogun fight, he's in slow motion. He looks the same. He looked way faster in Pride. He's old and in slow motion now. But when he hits you, you feel it. So now this fight, tough fight for us. Caitlin Chukagian, Cynthia Calvillo. We've had them both on the show. We've had Caitlin on the show last. I've hung out with Caitlin last. Caitlin's my girl. I'm going Caitlin. I mean, my heart would be Caitlin all day. Like, sir was my wrestling coach for a little bit. Serm's a friend of the show. Caitlin's been on the show. Listen, Serm- it's not an easy fight by at all. I don't like the fight for Caitlin. Like I said it off air to you, like it's a tough fight. Like I'm not obsessed with it either. Can Caitlin win? Absolutely. She needs to point. She can point fight this fight and maybe get the You're knockout. The but you know Calvillo's tough. Yes. Like we said to you're not putting her away with that one strike unless you can land that one and knock her out. She's coming forward. You hit yeah, her. But she's never been put away. You hit her once. She's throwing two or three, four after that. You know, like yeah. I'm rooting for Caitlin. I want Caitlin. Tough fight to pick. Gun a to- betting man. Where are you going? Uh, a betting man. I would look at the odds and I'd imagine. Caitlyn might be the underdog in this one. She is. She's like a plus 150. Is she? Or 250 maybe. I sent you the thing. You sent me the UFC's link, but they have like, they usually put up Las Vegas odds, which you can't bet Las Vegas odds in New York. Right. Or at least Not that we bet. Not to, not to my knowledge. What do you mean? Of course we fucking bet here in New York. What's the, <laughs> the – oh, my God. Wow. They have um, minus 270. My bookie has minus 270 for Cynthia Calvillo, plus 210 for Caitlin. So, with those odds, I'm going to go Caitlin by unanimous decision, unanimous decision, but I almost think Cynthia is going to win that fight by decision. I think Cynthia might get on top and maintain position for a decision, but I'm rooting for Caitlin. It's one of those like I think that they, they I don't want to watch, but I'm excited for it. I think you they know? I think they stalemate on the ground. But Cynthia winds up on top. I hope Caitlin winds up on top. But I think that's what I think it's actually a boring fight. And winds up being just like a slow decision for somebody. I don't think it's going to be a slow fight. I think it's going to be a slow fight. Both those girls put out high uh, volume. Very high volume. I think style, style, weird style matchup. Caitlin's. It is. And one's going to dominate the other. I just. Caitlin's really good where Cynthia's good. So I think they're going to wind up in that clinch. Where yeah. Cynthia, Cynthia might get one one takedown that wins her the round. The matchmakers did a nice job here. Yeah, I feel like it could be decided on the grappling. Yeah, whenever but, I go, I am not really sure. I'm like, that's a good matchmake. 
And even there, obviously, all day, we're rooting for Caitlyn. I don't give a fuck how many times Cynthia's been on the show <laughs> rooting for Caitlyn. And then Tim Means versus Mike Perry. This fight's interesting because it was supposed to be Mike Perry versus Robbie Lawler. Yes. Which would have been fucking fireworks. What happened to Robbie Lawler exactly? Injury, I guess. I didn't get the specifics, but... And even earlier, like we were talking about, I didn't get the specifics. I don't know why Islam pulled out. There's never been anything that I've seen released on why Makachev pulled out versus RDA. But Mike Perry, Tim Means, I don't think Tim Means is capable of out grappling Mike Perry. Donald Cerrone choked out. Is Tim Mike Means? Perry? I don't think Tim Means is that. And now, no, no, no. If they get into a jiu-jitsu scramble, Tim Means could submit him. I don't think Tim Means can out-wrestle Mike Perry to get Mike Perry to the ground. Mike Perry stands very tall. He comes forward very hard. Tim Means isn't really a wrestler. He's a grappler. I understand. He's a grappler. I think Mike Perry could defend those takedowns. Like I saw – when I saw you message me and say I got Tim Means, I was like, really? Because I got Mike Perry in that fight. I think that I was going off of odds. I think that fight winds up being like a. I also think Tim Means has more, way better endurance than Mike Perry. Mike Perry's got solid endurance. I think that fight winds up being Tim Means shooting from far out. Mike Perry sprawling. Does he even shoot? Really? Tim Means is more. I've seen him more like a stand-up guy. No, he's a striker, hundred percent. But I think that's a, a. I think he might be crisper. Mike Perry's got more power, but I think Mike Perry's crisp enough to. He's going to catch Tim Means. It, so final vote. What are you going? I'm going to stick with Tim Means. I got Mike Perry. Because Tim Means. So now, right here. All right. What do you got to say, Tim Means? Tim Means is good. He's just that, like, white, like... I think Tim Means is, like, the gatekeeper for the top ten. Yeah, I don't think Mike Perry is in the top ten. I think Mike Perry is number ten. Really? Not maintaining. I think he could hit number ten off, like, a stylistic matchup. He's going to win this fight. He's probably going to lose his next one. Like, this is the battle of two top 10, top 15 gatekeepers. Neither one of them is ranked. Are either one of them ranked right now? Neither one of them is ranked. This is the battle of number 16 right here. I think Mike Perry. But Valentina Shevchenko versus Jennifer Maya. Obviously, Valentina. Yeah. But if Jennifer Maya wins... Shit's interesting. If Jennifer Maya wins and Caitlyn wins, Caitlyn gets the next title shot. Unless they run it back immediately. But if Jennifer Maya wins, open shit up. Same In thing. my head, it was just like, we don't have anybody else to give this girl. That's exactly what happened. She won Well, same fight that we didn't think she was going to win. Let's give her. Both of these fights are that. We have nobody else. This is who you're fighting. <laughs> This for for pay per view. This is a weak pay per view. If you're a fight fan, it's a great fight card. If you're a name, if you're like a name whore or a name brand whore, whatever the yeah. term would be, this isn't your card. Right. But obviously, Valentina. Oh, it's a pay per view, but oh, that- this, this is UFC 255. It should be UFC on ESPN, whatever the fuck. But so I got to take a piss. We'll get out of here. Davis and Figueroa, Alex Perez. Who you got? Per Figueroa. Yeah, Figueroa all day. But you got to leave. The I people. think. Do you have to leave the people? With- three rounds. First round. First round. First round. I got to pee really bad though. So episode ninety eight, menace in the man. <laughs> well, Stan's got to pee. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>